Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Sends of Mayuwa's case is getting even hotter and hotter as far as time goes on and accused number three is under serious hot fire as apparently they want to pin all the blames on him so he is going to be condemned as the one who pulled the trigger on Senzo Mayiwa. Sap's gun expert kills accused number three's hope of freedom. Before I give you all more details, kindly follow Jam Vibes, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video please. Of course, in the very last court proceedings, the investigation into Senzo Meiwa's tragic departure from this world continued and Mr. Mangena's evidence was a big part of it. His story was mostly about a gun he got which was important to the prop in the Cleveland case. The state says that this gun and ammunition that went with it were found in the hands of the third accused person. Mangena's evidence is based on how carefully he looked into the link between the projectile found at the crime scene, which was first named by Colonel Mlalo, and the gun found in 2015 in the room of the third accused person. In his statement, Mangena focused on how the general characteristics of the bullet and the gun were the same, but he also pointed out that there were some differences between the individual characteristics. Mangena decided that more tests that were more thorough were needed because of these flaws. Mangena talked about the time frame and said that he was given an opened sealed back on July 20th, 2020. When he looked at what was inside, he saw that there was a CZ gun and ammo to go with it. This find it very important to the investigation because it connects the crime scene to the accused person's home. Mr. Mangena's careful and thorough method shows how serious he is about finding out what happened to Senzo Mehiwa and why he died so young. As this testimony goes on, the complex web of evidence and analysis becomes clearer, shedding light on the complicated relationship between the forensic result and the court case. As the trial goes on still, the picture should become clearer, putting an end to a case that has drawn attention from all over the country and the world at large. It is a very sad one or what is ongoing already, but then again, we just keep hoping that things get better as far as time goes on. Right now, Saps Mangena has resumed also revealing his findings from the inquiry into the murder of Senzo Mehiwa, which began already some days ago. The third suspect, Ntobisi Nkube, was reportedly checked by Saps Mangena. He wanted to see if there were any bullet wounds or scars on Kube's legs, so he asked to see them. Even before Saps Mangena stated the, the reason for the inspection, Kube speculated that the scars he might have could be from playing football as a kid. The coincidence fueled speculation that Tube was somehow involved in the crime. However, no bullet fragment scars were found on the third suspect, hence bringing in more and more trouble and discontinuity in this particular case already. So much has been ongoing. Kelly Kumalo's name has been dragged. Senzo Meiwa's family's names as well have even been dragged on the media that is just to tell each and every one of you how intensified the whole case is. Without necessarily judging guys, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this, how you feel about it and most importantly how you think that we can proceed in assisting the state in finding who exactly pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa. His family has been grieving for so long and they deserve the truth. I love you all and take good care of yourselves, please.